on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, there is a small archipelago of islands, only 12.6 kilometers off the coast of Portugal. Still to this day, the Belengas Islands are considered one of Portugal's best kept secrets. To us, this island sounded like a secluded paradise and we had to see it for ourselves. As you arrive at the Belengas Islands, you get dropped off at an abandoned fishing village. And while there's a really beautiful beach here that you can swim at, the main attraction is a hike across the island to the old fortress. The Belengas Islands is only a one hour boat ride away from Peniche. And as you arrive, you can see the island has a pink hue because it is made of a really rare type of pink granite. Today, the Belengas are a haven for wildlife enthusiasts and nature lovers. The archipelago is a designated nature reserve, protecting a variety of seabirds, marine life and unique plant species. We have been wanting to travel here since the first photo we saw of this fortress, so we're really hoping that it lives up to expectations. So fun history fact, in the 15th century the only settlement of people here was uh, a monastery and a fishing village, however that didn't persist for very long here. The ruins of the monastery was then used to build like a protective fortress, which is the beautiful fortress behind us. So now where the monastery is, is actually where you can camp and where all the tourism comes into the island. Corn cakes. Delicious. Hey. Christmas salad. We have some peanut bars, fresh raspberries, olives. Of course. And snacky balls. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Too beautiful not to jump though, but there's a really strong wind. <laughs> it's the middle of summer right now, and it's just amazing how quiet the trail is. Like obviously tourists come in big lots of, on the boats, and so maybe it's kind of between <laughs> one of the, the boats coming down, but oh, it's amazing. It's just like the prime photo position and there's no one there. I've known about this cliff jumping spot for a while. He's got it all to himself, but the water is probably going to be like 15 degrees. Oop, still in star jumps. It's a good idea. I just need to learn about where. So many different caves that just line the entire edge of the island. Some of these are big enough that you can get a cave tour through. So you get your own little boat tour and they enter in like the bigger caves like this. That's why these islands have such a great ecosystem of 
wildlife with the birds and the lizards. Apparently they all hang out in these caves. So when we arrived, it was really cloudy and windy and quite overcast, which was still a really nice mood. But within like 10 minutes of just sitting down and eating and then Locke going for his first dive, we've got like beautiful blue skies and no sign of clouds. So now it is just like the most perfect summer day. And there's like hardly anyone here. I'd compare this to like Mallorca of Spain, like the Portuguese Mallorca, except with like no crowds. It's beautiful. walked a long way so it's good that we brought snacks. <laughs> <laughs> After spending a day here we can now officially say this place is insanely beautiful and well worth the boat trip. Leave a comment down below on where we should travel to next.